Okay, well, this is interesting. Another thing that I think is worth passing on, although by now you've probably heard it, I guess, but I, I thought it was worth mentioning. It seems that the suspect in the latest shooting of Donald Trump, or attempted assassination of Donald Trump, was a recruit for foreign um, soldiers fighting in Ukraine and seems to be very passionately involved in the U the cause of uh, fighting uh, fighting for Ukraine in the war currently wa being waged between Russia and Ukraine. Uh, let me read from, uh, again, this is the Lugan Press, uh, but it, it seems like it's seems okay. Again, who knows what's real and what isn't. Question everything. But here's what they're telling us. Um, this is from Forbes. Former President Donald Trump is safe after what the FBI described as an apparent attempted assassination Sunday at his golf, cl golf club in West Palm Beach, Florida. With police la later apprehending a suspect who was identified by multiple news outlets as Ryan Wesley Routh. Okay. Authorities have not yet released the suspect's name, but the Associated Press, CNN, and CBS News have identified Routh, citing multiple unnamed law enforcement sources. Interesting that they don't, they, the authorities haven't officially released his name. Uh, but uh, I wonder what, the, what that's all about. I mean, I've seen the, the picture of the, the arrest, and it's clearly the guy. It's the same guy. Routh's uh, social media indicates he's outspoken about the war in Ukraine and suggests Routh, 58, traveled to the country, potentially as a fighter. CNN's John Miller reported. They're saying this at CNN. That's making me question it. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, but they're not the only ones who are saying this, so... And there's a, there's a video, which I'll get to in a second, which, which confirms it, apparently. Uh, adding authorities are still looking at the shooter's motive. The New York Times says it... Here's, here's really, here's, this is interesting. The New York Times says it interviewed Ralph. Sorry about that. The New York Times says it interviewed Ralph as part of a feature on pro-Ukraine foreign soldiers last year. Reporting Ralph went to Ukraine for a few months in 2022 and was trying to recruit ex-Afghan soldiers to join the, the effort, describing himself as, quote, just a U.S. citizen that's helping out. I don't think that's... I don't think you can just be an ordinary citizen and uh, work in this kind of capacity. I mean... This this should be sending off alarm bells in your in your head when you're hearing it. Um, he this sounds like somebody who was working as an inside man uh, to recruit uh, foreign fighters for the, uh, to fight for Ukraine, and was trying to recruit ex Afghan soldiers to join the effort. This was last year. Now, I'd, I'd, I'd love to be able to go to that New York Times article, but I had have to pay to get uh, behind their, pay, their, their paywall. <laughs> I'd have to pay to read the article, and I'm not going to do that. But anyway, let's read on. Ralph, who reportedly didn't have military experience, I thought it said previously that he had... Uh, traveled to Ukraine potentially as a fighter, according to CNN. So, but now they're saying he reportedly didn't. Ha oh, I guess he reportedly didn't have military experience. I guess it's possible to not have military experience, but still be, I guess so, but still be fighting or willing to to fight to be a soldier for Ukraine in this war. So, um, Maybe so. That's not not exactly a contradiction. Still, still odd. Uh, the incident began when a Secret Service agent saw a gun poking out of a fence at Trump's club Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon. 
and fired at the gunman. So according to this, he didn't get off a shot. Some Somebody just saw the gun poking out of the fence and uh, fired at the gunman, and then he ran away. Uh, apparently the shot missed, and he ran away. Um, okay, but, but they're, they're still being... We're, we're still not getting a straight answer on this because Rafael Barros, a special agent in Miami's Secret Service field office, said the agency wasn't sure whether the suspect also fired at agents. Well, hmm. but did, and also did he try to get a shot off at Trump or did they just see the 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 gun poking out of the, the fence and, and the, the Secret Service fired the first shot? You know, I've kind of heard the possibility being both ways. I guess it ultimately doesn't matter that much, but it's just one of those things. If you're looking for details, that's one of those things. Um, so they found, he fled from the bushes after the they shot at him and found an AK-47 style gun with a scope, two backpacks, and a GoPro camera the man was using to film. He was, again, trying to film himself shooting Trump according to what we're told. Um, so, and the shooter was about 300 to 500 feet away from Trump. But uh, that was that is not a long distance because of the scope. So, the most interesting thing here is the fact that, and it seems to be a fact, uh, that, that the accused assassin was... Uh, some kind of point man for Ukraine. Now, I don't think you. I don't think you go to Ukraine and work as a as a recruit. Recruiting foreign, recruiting Afghan soldiers. Like, what? What is going on? Recruiting Afghan soldiers to fight for Ukraine. I've never even heard of that before. Not saying I. I mean, it's possible that that has been mentioned before, but I've never heard anything about that. Um, so, yeah, and and there is a video um, on YouTube right now, um, and it's it's been reposted by many people. So, uh, if they took it down, that would be ultra suspicious. Where he says, in fact, let me just find it. Hang on, okay. So I'll just play this video. You, you can listen to the audio. We should have thousands upon thousands of people standing here with the Ukrainians. This, this Maiden Square, Independent Square, we should have millions of people in this square, filling this square from every country around the world. And why we don't, I don't understand. I'm here every day with all the flags from all the supporting countries, with the memorials for the people that have died. And, you know, I've had several people come, but just a handful. You know, so it's, it's it blows my mind that I'm standing here alone without thousands of people from every country, from Asia, from Africa, from Australia, from from Canada, from everywhere in South America, every every place. I'm, yeah, I'm Europe. Pretty, yeah, yeah, Europe, everywhere. We need everybody here. We should have. So this was again the accused suspect in the latest Trump shooting. Uh, talking about his frustration that there's not more enthusiasm after uh, for the for you know supporting Ukraine, um, and again, I don't know who's interviewing him in this video, but there's another video. This, there must be a longer video somewhere because I saw a portion of another video that was posted, but that somebody posted on Instagram in which uh, Ralph is talking about how he's disappointed that more people aren't taking part in this this um this funding uh, drive that that he had going or that, that some somebody had going but he was touting it uh where you contribute $5 and someone you know a a a freedom fighter for Ukraine is gifted um, a bulletproof vest. No, that's that's not what he says in this 
in, in in this video, but it's this it's from the same it's in the same setting. Uh, he's he's wearing the same shirt, looking the same way. Um, and I'm not here. I'm not going to talk about his physiognomy. I'm not going to go after him in that way, the way some people have, uh, or, or his his half colored hair or any of that that stuff. I want to just I want to just be factual. I want to be as objective as I can. Um, but he, so in that so in that other video, again, it's this this theme of Ukraine and his disappointment that more people aren't invested in Ukraine, aren't, aren't, aren't backing Ukraine, aren't financially backing people fighting for, or on Ukraine's side, um, aren't contributing $5. Like this is, it's just $5. He says, what's, why should that be such a big deal? Um, uh, so all, all this is to say he is, uh, he was very, very into supporting the Ukraine cause. And he wasn't just some, uh, some guy out there who was supportive of Ukraine. He actually went to Ukraine and was interviewed by the New York times and maybe other mainstream outlets because, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I think I heard, something about how ABC news was, uh, was credited for this video that might or might not be true, but, but, uh, but this article talks about how the New York times, uh, profiled him as part of their story. Um, okay. Here's, here's something from Newsweek, ordinarily not a publication I would give the time of day to. And again, I'm not saying that since it's in Newsweek, it must be right. But again, I just played you the video of this guy talking about uh, his intense support for Ukraine. But this Newsweek article reads, Ryan Wesley Routh, would-be Trump assassin, fought in Ukraine, it should be alleged assassin, but okay, fought in Ukraine, comma, supports war. A suspect is in custody, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Um, okay. Again, John Miller from CNN reported Sunday afternoon. That's, that was today af afternoon today. That Ralph's social media accounts have focused on his self-proclaimed involvement in the war in the war in Ukraine. Self-proclaimed. I mean, yeah, I thought it was confirmed that he was there. Anyway, including his supposed effort to recruit soldiers to fight in the conflict. Ralph also claims to have fought in Ukraine as it continues to hold off Russia's invasion. Miller said that Ralph has been living in Hawaii and was formerly a construction wor worker in North Carolina. Um, Ralph appears to have previously spoken with the New York Times about his effort to recruit Afghan soldiers, again, who fled the Taliban to fight in Ukraine. Really? The thing, the thing about Af Afghan soldiers fleeing the Taliban to fight in Ukraine, I, I mean, maybe maybe I'm just not informed, but I, I hadn't heard that there were any such, such uh, Afghani soldiers fighting in Ukraine. That kind of blows my mind. I mean, it's not like it's impossible or anything, but it's just, like, it's just, I just never heard about it. Okay, so again, I can't access the New York Times article. Hopefully, somebody will will post some some somebody will gr just guerrilla post the New York Times article, um, which is from last year, and interesting that uh, the New York Times just came right out and said, "Yeah, we, we profiled him. He was part of our." coverage of of uh, f uh foreign fighters in in uh ukraine fighting for ukraine um i mean they came right out and said it's like they thought oh boy we, we'd better just be be upfront about this because 
if we keep mum about this and it comes out, somebody discovers that we profile this guy uh, sympathetically in in our art in an article last year, then then we'll have egg on our face. So uh, they they just uh, uh, came right out and, and uh, mentioned it. Whew. So anyway, that's 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 interesting. Yeah. And again, I would only say if this is just some some troubled uh, man. Uh, who who uh, he was was mentally unstable and just decided to 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 go to to try to take out Trump because uh, because of because he'd been because of his his intense convictions regarding Ukraine uh, and how he thought Trump would be uh, would would would, uh, would be unhelpful if elected uh, to furthering. Uh, foreign aid for Ukraine. Uh, I really, I just don't think, I mean, I don't think you, you travel to Ukraine and become a recruit of, uh, Afghani soldiers for Ukraine. What, what is this guy, this, this, uh, this 58 year old with a Southern drawl, and weird hair. Uh, I mean, he, why does he travel to Ukraine and and uh, rec- try to recruit Afghani soldiers for Ukraine's for the Ukrainian cause? You don't do that if you're just some guy. Um, I, I mean, I, I think you've got to be somewhere in the pipeline. There, you've got to be working for somebody who's connected in order to be allowed to do something like that, which suggests to me that he is an asset of, or has been working as an asset of the government. And that's all, I, all I'm going to say about it. But I mean, the video is out there. If, if any naysayers want to take me on, the video is, is out there. And, uh, I mean, seeing is believing. Just watch the video.